welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you some quick cleaning motivation while I try and fake a clean house. My brother and sister were going to be coming over, and while the house didn't need a full-on deep clean, I definitely wanted to just tidy it up and make it look and smell fresh. I only had a couple hours to do this, so let's just see how much I actually get done. by the garage door last night because I knew I wanted to wash it with these other blankets so I took that outside to get started um, while I clean the rest of the house and I decided to start in the living room since um, I had been working in here the night before um, I had been stuffing all those envelopes for work um, I had a thousand to stuff and stamp so I just put on Bridgerton and was I binge watched like the whole thing and so it's really good I highly recommend it but it's definitely not kid friendly so that's why I was watching it late at night. Um, but the, the guests, they hang out in the living room the most, so I wanted to do that first. That was like the first priority for me. Um, and I just wanted to do a really good dust in here and vacuum the couches because my sister and her family are allergic to cats and we have a cat. So um, I just wanted to make it comfortable for them. Um, even though, you know, they, they I think they take allergy medicine before they come over. And my cat hasn't been in this room really because she has been afraid of the stairs. And so she mostly stays upstairs. But I did just want to make it really nice and clean and fresh for them here. video comes out I'm gonna look like such a slacker with my Christmas decorations up still but I did take them down and I filmed that footage as well so I will have an undecorate with me um, video coming up next so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that um, and also I'm just so excited this is the first time that you guys have seen our new home and I just am I'm overwhelmed with everything that I want to do <laughs> but to the point where I don't even know where to start um, but I'm definitely planning on documenting all that and sharing that with you guys. So again, please subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I am planning on re-updating. Um, well, I guess not re-updating. I don't think it's ever been updated. I, this house was built in 1984 and I'm pretty sure everything is original, um, as far as cabinets and, and the bathrooms and all that go. Um, so all of that needs to be updated. Um, floors, I'd like to do the floors downstairs. Maybe also upstairs, it depends on what I decide, but there's just so many decisions to make and I want it to all look good together. So I'm trying to really map that out and plan that out like on a mood board. Um, so yeah, and I've also been wondering like, cause I find myself pinning things that I like and like are my style, but ne don't necessarily go with a style of this home. And on the outside, it looks kind of like a Mediterranean villa and it has like a Spanish style to it. So, um, I was thinking maybe just to keep the inside kind of matching the outside and do it that same style rather than like what I like, you know? Um, and I love like terracotta floors. I know those are more expensive and also a lot more fragile um, and easy to break. Um, but I would, that's like my dream. If I could do terracotta floors, at least on the downstairs, I would love that. But definitely let me know below what you guys think if I should stay with the style of the outside of the house which is that Mediterranean Spanish style or if I should just do what I like. off this room I wanted to give it a spray down with the Otoban fabric disinfectant I love that it actually disinfects and kills bacteria rather than just masking odors um, and I sprayed the dog bed as well even though I just washed it like a couple weeks ago um, but I also wanted to give the room a sweep this was before and then the after um, coming up here in just a second but I don't like to do the floors before guests come over because then they just make it dirty again <laughs> And I have to do it again the next day or even that night. Um, if, if it needs it, I'll go around and like spot clean certain spots. But then I wanted to move in into the guest bathroom. Here's another room that I can't wait to do. I have my ideas for this room and I hope that we can go in that direction. I kind of want to do, I think, like a more of like a turquoise color. I don't know. This green just feels very like sickly to me. Um, and it could be the lighting, but... The vanity definitely needs to be replaced, um, the shower definitely needs to be redone, and 
the toilets all need to be replaced they're kind of small like i don't know also like our banister is really short so i don't know if there was maybe little people living here before um because this toilet and all the toilets are really short too so i'd like to replace those as well um also for some more efficient ones and um yeah just kind of give this whole room a makeover but the bathroom that the guests would be using is definitely the next thing on my list for faking a clean house, making sure that the toilet they'll be using is clean. I mean, they're going to be sitting here and looking around for at least a, at least half a minute. Um, and so I wanted to make sure it was clean and smelled fresh for them. About this house is that this door goes straight out to the pool so rather than people tracking through they can come right in here and we have this space that I was just cleaning it actually has laundry hookups over there um, and we have laundry hookups in the garage but we didn't have stackables so we had to put them in the garage for now but ideally I'd love to bring laundry inside and it's perfect for when we have people over swimming throw towels in there dry them off um, and then they can go straight into the shower you know if my sister wanted to rinse off her kids um, so I'm definitely looking forward to that room being finished, but I wanted to move over to the dishes now. We would be cooking, um, this evening, so I wanted to clear this out and get it cleaned up before, um, the guests arrived. I think that's definitely noticeable when I go to someone else's house and I'm, like, helping them cook. Is their microwave so I definitely wanted to just wipe that off even though my I don't let my microwave get that bad um, because it grosses me out but I just wanted to wipe that down wipe down the counters and clear them off um, so that the space looks a little more clean have taken a good look at my kitchen you can definitely see I would love to replace the cabinetry it's not that bad but it still needs to be replaced and also new countertops definitely gonna go for something more sleek than the, the tiles with the grout and all that it's just harder to keep clean and actually as I was cleaning this I noticed that my t my counters look a little greasy um, just from wiping them down so actually in my next video, um, I am deep cleaning those and scrubbing them to get that, that layer of grease off. And it's mostly just around kind of like in between the stove and the, the sink, but it definitely needed a deep clean, but this was good enough for now just to make it appear clean. And that is key for today. When I remodel, I'd love to put some um, full height cabinets on either side and then have uppers and lowers to kind of make it a bar area. And then we'll have to move this dining area, which is pitiful. It's, it looks so small in this house. So did our tree. Our tree we put up and we had much lower ceilings in the old house. And we were like, this is pitiful and we need a new tree next year. <laughs> but um, I think that I'll end up moving the dining area to the other room that I just cleaned, which is now the living room. And we have another room over behind the hutch that you'll kind of see the walkway into in just a second right here um, that I will turn into the living room area and then make the the room that has the um, what the stove. What is it? Wood burning stove. Um, I will turn that into a dining room. is a disaster and some of it is still I need to unpack it so I just need to put away what I could um, and I'd really love to find a solution for my gift wrapping um, for that back closet there maybe like a cabinet with some shallow drawers where I can put gift bags and wrapping paper and stuff because I don't want it in the garage um, but yeah definitely I think I need to find a solution for that but I just needed to clean up I'm still working on stuffing all these flyers so I'm leaving them there for now no one's really gonna be coming in here but I just wanted to tidy it up a little bit because I had just been throwing stuff in there as I was cleaning the other areas 
one into the master bathroom and bedroom. I just wanted to give the counters a wipe down in here. No one really comes up here, but um, it was the first time that my sister's husband was going to see the house, so he'd probably take a look around and just walk around. So I wanted to just clean it up, make my bed, and get things tidied up in here. And normally when I'm deep cleaning my bathrooms, I will like full on scrub my sinks with uh, Barkeeper's Friend or whatever I have on hand, Comet or whatever. Um, but since I was just wanting to fake my clean house and do it really quickly, I'm just using a wet microfiber cloth, clean off that toothpaste, make things look clean and shiny and you can't even tell. <laughs> here. I'm actually going to end up taking the laundry basket down, but this is a bunch of stuff that is actually my husband's down below and then some robes that I need to get rid of, but I just don't have anywhere to put it right now. I want to leave it here so that it gets done because I know if we put it in our garage, we're just going to forget about it. So, um, I mean, we just moved into the house. We still have some organizing to do, um, but this was what it looked like before and this is what it looked like after. This is now the kids' bathroom, um, which I knew the littles would be using, and so I just wanted to wipe things down and clean in here real quick as well. probably should have started in this area because it's the first thing you see when you walk in um, but luckily I did have the time to get to it and I'm just going to give it a quick sweep I'm gonna leave my cat's water bowl there for now I've been trying to adjust her to the downstairs so I'm going to be moving it farther and farther away but she just cries if it's not there I was able to make it to the last room on my list which was the kids room and it didn't need much just needed a little cleaning up of things on the floor. They got new comforters for Christmas and I still don't know what to do with these. I'm probably going to donate them or give them away. So um, I just folded them and put them on the bed for now. And in true last minute cleaning fashion, I'm just going to shove everything else into the closet, shut the door and hope that nobody looks. Don't judge. We all do what we got to do sometimes. I will deep clean it another day. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so grateful if you made it this far and for you joining my channel. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.